Hey beauties, morning to you. You know, beautiful people, as I scroll the internet, you know, in particular TikTok, even the other social media platforms that we're familiar with, you know, the popular ones, be it YouTube, be it Facebook, be it um, Instagram, you know, and especially with their lives, um, as in the live feed, <laughs> not their, well, and their personal lives too, because they work in tandem with each other. It tells you if you want to know what a friend is not, in the least you go on and you listen across the board and I said my goodness gracious I would never want to be friends with a lot of these people who are um, you know you pray that you never ever get a friend that mirrors in the least bit people some people that you see on the internet and uh, one of the things that people do not understand about friendships is that it's not only just the good that you do in terms of being kind to your friend, communicating with your friend, ha hanging out with your friend, laughing when your friend laughs, mourning when your friend mourns, and so on, and all the wonderful things that, you know, is a part of the composite, the composite of a solid friendship. But it is indicative in, in the sense that when there is adverse, when there are adverse situations, when there is a, there is some sort of a defect, um, when things aren't going right with the friendship, you know, there is, some, there is some sort of malevolence. Unfortunately, there is some kind of vilifying, you know, um, that our vilifying spirit that is seeming to create discord, faction and dissension in that friendship. And one of the friend or both says to themselves, unfortunately, my friendship has ended, but the deep dark secrets that he or she has shared with me or that I know about the individual, I am not going to spew to the world, even though I'm hearing the person spew bad things about me. You know, with David, one of the reasons why God had considered him a man after his own heart, when his brother Eliab was kind of mocking him to say, where, when he heard about the whole Goliath situation and wanted to take him down because David was a very strong, powerful man, young boy, and Eliab, because they were very, you know, their body was built and they were really like soldiers, you know, they like if the, J, the JD were to see them, they would want to hire them instant, instantaneously, like instantly. And, uh, you know, David was overlooked. And when he saw David come in, he mocked his brother in front of everyone and said, where are the few sheep that you have? You have not for do. Why you come around here so far? Eh? You know, say a big people things. I mean, something a bigger than you. What are you doing around here? You're in the wrong space. And you know what the Bible said? He walked away, never argued with his brother, never commented, never said a word, never scandal his brother, never gone complained. Just kept it to himself. When I hear, when I, when I scroll the internet and I look in and I see people demolishing, and I said, they were just friends. Well, seemingly friends. They mentioned that they are friends, some of them. You know, and they and they literally on they literally unearth all the deep dark secrets about their friend and friends to the public, demolishing them because the friend did it to them. The friend so they because they trying to make me go down, I have to make them go down. But you're no different. And then in the same breath you say, I am a nice person, I'm a good person. And you wonder if they're realizing if emotional intelligence evaded them for a moment. In order for you to categorize yourself as a so-called, let's just use the word good and nice. In order for you to categorize yourself as being good or nice, decent human being with integrity, it therefore means you have to repay good for the evil done to you. Yes, that, that's the only way. You can really categorize yourself as that. All right, if you don't, you don't have to accept my words. If you believe in the Most High God, if you believe in Jesus Christ, and uh, you know believe in His teachings and His principles, what He was saying to people is that don't lord so much and say that you're a good person because you love, for example, your husband, your wife, your mother, your father, your child, and your family members and friends. That is all good. But one of the things you need to understand that even the people of darkness. They, they actually are in the same boat. They love their mothers, their husbands, wives, you know, as the case may be, um, and mother, father, children, and so on. So really and truly, you are no different. Here is where the difference comes. When you have an enemy, 
and something bad happens to the enemy, you treat the enemy as though that enemy is your friend. You treat them with love. So you know some deep dark secrets about them. You don't scandalize them to humiliate and embarrassment. Em, em, sorry, to humiliate and embarrass them. One of the things that people don't understand why God hates. He said six things he hates, seven he detests, he abhors. He literally loads. And he talks about a lying tongue, a deceitful tongue. Quick feet that, quish, that, that is quick and that rushes to do evil. Quick to do evil. And funny enough... Um, it doesn't mention things like you'd say, like clear cut, it doesn't say adultery, fornication, and these things. It, it basically hinges on lying, deception, um, creating discord, creating disunity, causing trying to cause others to hate on other people because you don't like them, uh, coviciousness, um, malignant jealousy, or malicious envy, what we call bad mind in Jamaica these it really links to that because there's something that is devilish about it sometimes it is truth and that is where no it borders on slander because slander is speaking truth but with evil intent so you know that when you speak something that your friend you know about your friend and it's damaging and it's something that will cripple them psychologically cripple them mentally can cost them their lives can even imprison them you go out and you promulg you promulgate that in the worst way rejoice in it and then you want to say, I'm a good person. It's because the person brought me down. I'm going to bring you not different. You are the very same thing. You are no different. You shouldn't even speak about, um, don't even touch on your character unless you're going to be carrying down your own character, yourself. Some of you, you have no business in saying that you're a friend to anyone because if you can do it to that person, you would do it to anyone. If you can do it to that person, you can do it to anyone. And I can appreciate in the book of Proverbs when it says, bad company spoils good morals. A lot of people do not understand that. You cannot hang around fleas all day and not expect the fleas to latch itself onto you. You cannot be around fleas all day, every day, or frequently, invariably, and not expect that some of the fleas will latch itself onto you. It is virtually, literally impossible, even figuratively, if you want to look at it that way. So in other words, you cannot hang around somebody with hot temper. The Bible says it, you know, it says, be careful of the people who are hot tempered because of that kind of spirit as in attitude, and maybe even spirit too, <laughs> because in demonic, will latch itself onto you. Either, either possess you or depress it, depends on where you are, where you, where you, where you fall in the kingdom of God, or, if in, the, or in the kingdom of darkness. dare you get up and say that you're a friend that you're a good person and i understand the concept that we're all humans and that we all fail we are prone to wonder w-a-n-d-e-r prone to failure accept that compassion is extended where it is needed because jesus himself said when he saw the crowd he had compassion or the bible said it and the crowd was filled with all defective people i do accept that but when somebody categorically intentionally with a sense of um with a with a, with a sense of um what should i say no there's a divisiveness inside of them there was a word that i was looking for that just ev evaded me a while ago you know where the motive is ill the motive is not good there is a difference you have now bordered on the land of the kingdom of darkness you have bordered in the devil's kingdom so you can't say that you're the person's friend because a person carry you down. You're going to carry them down. You're no different. You're the very same thing. You should carry yourself down too as well. Say also, you know, and you bask in this. And then when you wonder, when you see the, the curses that follow suit, because you cannot plant peas and reap corn no time. You wonder if somebody has done some kind of work, some kind of obia necromancy, not a blinking obia necromancy or witchcraft or occult. You have just reaped the repercussions of the seeds that you have sown. You two are evil. You two are evil not to be trusted. You're not a friend. You're not a friend at all. You're dangerous, in fact. Maybe Judas is a better person to hang around than you. Because at least with him, he, he couldn't even spend the money. And when it came to his senses, sort of a thing, he's like, I can't believe I betrayed the best friend that I've ever had. Jesus, I don't deserve to live. He shouldn't have killed himself. But that's how he felt despondent, broken. 
think on these things guys follow me on tiktok subscribe to my youtube channel please share this message thank you and have a great day